Hey, what is going on guys? In today's video, we're going to do a full weapon ranking prediction of all the guns expected to be in Fortnite Project Era Season 8. Now, this is a ranking prediction because you never know. They could make a non-historical balance change that shakes up the gun meta that I simply won't be able to predict. But what I can do for you is look at the previous metas in Season 5, 6, 7 in Era, as well as the historical balance changes in Season 8 and help kind of make a guideline of what to expect in terms of the gun meta, but this is not final by any means. I will definitely make another one when the season launches and we know for certain what the statistics are. Okay, just quickly, the two new go weapons to look at are the Flint uh, Knock Pistol and the Boom Bow, and the only vault is the Gray Infantry Rifle, but because the Green and Blue still exist, we're still ranking it in today's video. Let's put these into position, and let's just quickly go over the tiers. So X tier is those super dominant guns. They define the entire game around them. Think like the Day 1 P90, Day 1 Drum Gun, or the Launch Combat Shotgun. Um, S tier are those really strong options. Probably need to be nerfed, like Purple Attack SMG. Very strong choice, but not completely busted like an X tier gun. A tier, those very solid good guns like the Scar. They don't need a nerf per se, but they're very solid choices. A lot of people want to take them. B are those, you know, they're, they're good. Viable to the end game, like standard AR, quite a good option. Most people will like it, but it's also not so strong that you don't have to take it. C are those like situationally useful guns. They, they they work. If you really like them, you can use them, but they're not ridiculously strong either. D are those guns that are just kind of bad. You know, you know they're not completely unusable, but they're not good. You don't want to be taking this. And F is the joke tier, like the uh, launch some uh, automatic sniper. That was a joke tier gun with thirty damage. But really, this is a very rare uh, tier for guns to exist in. As always, let's start off with a shotgun. Tack shotgun has been B tier for me since Season 5, and it's still B tier in Season 8. It's not receiving any changes. It's not getting buffed. It's, it's just, it's decent in a vacuum. But because the pump exists, it's just very hard to justify running the tack. It's not a bad choice. You know, if, you, if you're new to the game, have bad aim, high ping, this might be something worth taking. But it's just... The draw speed is slow. The shotgun delay screws up the tack so much. It's just not a gun that I see as being super strong, but I can't put it C. It's not, you know, that bad. It's just kind of pretty good, but not amazing, if that makes any sense. Green and blue pump shotgun, I'm still putting A tier. I think they're a step above the tack. It's a very strong gun, especially the blue pump. You know, you can one-shot people. And now that the spaz have been nerfed, the blue pump is perfectly acceptable. At any point in the game, it's not like you're at a disadvantage. It's exactly what you want. It's a great gun. You're going to want to carry this thing. And with the Spaz, I previously put it X tier. But I don't put it X tier anymore because of the uh, draw speed nerf. It's going to be quite a bit slower. So I think it's S tier. It's still a very strong gun. You're going to want to carry the Spaz, obviously. But um, it's not insanely broken like it used to be. So I think S tier is a fair place to put it. Um... So, yeah, in terms of your shotguns, really, you're only carrying the pump. The tack is a little bit more useful now that Spaz has been nerfed, but it's still the same situation. You realistically are going to carry the pump. Okay, ARs, I'm putting them in, in terms of the standard ones. I'm putting it in the exact same spot as I have since Season 5. B tier for the sta standard and A tier for the SCAR. Um, the SCAR is obviously a step above. They're really solid options. They work great at close range, work good enough at long range. You know, they just do everything pretty well. And if you're not sure what AR to take, I'd recommend the standard ARs. They're just... Decent at everything, which is what you really want. Um, they're not broken by any means, so they're not crazy good either. So I'm just going to leave them in the same spot. Now, the infantry rifle is a hard uh, case to assess. Because right now I'd say it's D or even F tier. But now it's going to be hit scan. I think it's going to be C for the green and blue infantry. I think it'll be an all right choice. The green infantry doing only 38 damage isn't great because it takes an extra shot to take someone out. It's, it's a decent okay choice right but it doesn't strike me as being particularly strong now the purple and gold infantry though i think is going to be a b tier option if you really like a long range oriented play style you could take this over the scar but it's very bad at close range i, I think the infantry is going to sit at uh, b tier for the purple and gold it's, it's a good like option that can compete with the scar but i think if you you know you asked a bunch of players probably more of them will take the scar but this is a competitive option and it'll be interesting to see how the meta shakes out with this one now how the ak has fallen previously i thought it was an a tier gun right up there with the scar now i think it's c the blue ak is usable but the gray and green are just kind of bad doing 36 and 38 damage you need an extra shot to take some out it's just not good anymore um it's on the fringes of viability but i just don't think it's really a gun you it's just kind of eh, you know, it's just, 
It's kind of unfortunate it's been nerfed, but that's just reality here. It's just eh at this point. Silence AR, I still think it's B tier. Um, you know, the Silence is a, quite a good option. It's kind of like a halfway point between the Scar and the Infantry in terms of how effective it is at long range versus close. It's better at long range than the Scar, but worse than the Infantry. At close range, it's better than the Infantry, worse than the Scar. The problem with the Silence AR is the damage is a little bit underwhelming. I still think it's a decent choice, and you can take this over the Scar if you would like. But it's just not quite up to level Scar, but it is a viable choice. If this is the gun you really like, it's totally reasonable to take this over the Scar. That's not a completely unheard of idea, right? So it's a good choice. Now, Scope the R is getting a buff. Previously, I was putting at C tier with 23, 24 damage. With 26, 27, I don't know if I can put it B tier. I think for keyboard and mouse, I would probably say it's a B tier option. Controller, it's still, you know, eh. I think it's C. I think it's, you know, better. It's definitely a noticeable buff. I just don't think it's enough to push it to B tier. Because is this really at the same level as the standard AR, purple gold infantry, or the silence they are? I just don't think so. I think the buff is noticeable, but it's just not enough to push it to B tier. The thermal AR, I'm still tempted to put it D tier because that's what I really think. But I've been hearing your guys' arguments of pushing it to C, and, and I think I can get on board with that. You know, I don't think the thermal is particularly good. I think it's pretty bad on controller. But keyboard, it might be decent, and, you know, it's all right. And you can situationally use it to spot people. So I, I think C is fair. I'd probably give it a low C, like a C-, minus, but I think I'll keep it at C because it's not quite D. It's not, like, pistol level bad. It's just, I mean, it honestly might be, but it's really down to play style. I think I'll put it at C tier. Silence, SMG, and Compact, I'm still putting B. They're both really competitive choices. You know, they're both solid guns. Silence, you get better accuracy. And uh, higher DPS, faster reload, while compact, you get a bigger magazine size and a higher rate of fire, so it's easier to leak through walls. Overall, I think both are solid options. Neither are mandatory. Just pick whichever one you like, honestly. Standard pistol, I think, is a D-tier gun. It takes five shots to take someone out early game. It's just not good. You do not want to be carrying this thing long term. And the silence pistol, I think, is a step above. It's C-tier. You know, it it does the job. It, it, it's not bad by any means. Is it as good as the silence SMG? Probably not, but... It's a decent option. It's fun to use, so not the worst thing in the world. Now, the dualies are interesting. I'm really, you know, having a hard time of deciding whether it's C or B tier. Like, on one hand, I feel like early game, they're really good because if you don't have a shotgun to SMG combo, the dualies are actually quite decent. They do a lot of damage and have good DPS. But later in the game, the draw speed just holds them back because if you fire a pump shot first, then switch to the dualies, the draw speed is painfully slow. So... Honestly, I think I have to go C because it's just, I just don't see it as being better equal to the SMGs. They, it, it has terrible accuracy, so it's not like it's really that much better at long range. And the draw speed is just too slow. I, I, I just think the SMG is a better choice. Honestly, yeah, I think, I think it's C tier. I think it's C. Hand cannon, I'm still putting B. I think it's still a reasonable choice. Honestly, um, against the SMGs, I actually think it's worse. But I don't think it's quite a C-tier gun. It still does good damage at range. It's going to synergize really well with controller. This might be a gun where I'd actually say controller it's B and keyboard it's C. But I think B-tier is where it's at. If you have good aim on keyboard, this thing can also be quite decent. Scoped Revolver, I'm still putting D-tier. I want to put it F, but it's not quite a joke. It's just bad. Um, I don't know why you would take this over the thermal, honestly. Uh, you know, you do a little more damage. You only have a six-round magazine. You lose out on the thermal's ability to... Uh, because you know, the thermal can uh, has a thermal scope, so at least you can use that to situationally spot people. Scoped revolver, you can't even do that, so I don't even know what the point of the scoped revolver is. It's just bad, let's be honest. Um, flint knock is, uh, is it B or A? I think the flint knock is going to be a quite a competitive option. Do I think it's necessarily better than the SMG? I don't think so. I think I'm going to put it B again. This is a, a prediction to your list, so I don't know for certain. I think it'll be very competitive with the SMGs and the hand cannon. I don't think it'll be a step above, but I think it's going to be a solid, viable choice. So I think I'm going to leave it B tier. Boombo, on one hand, I think it's A, but I almost... It's A or B. I think I'd go B. It's very good early game because you can just one-shot people with the splash damage. But as you get into the game, are you really going to be carrying a Boombo long-term over a sniper? Uh, I don't know. I, I think B is fair. I think it's going to be a good option. 
I don't think it'll be quite Pump or Scar level good, but it'll be a solid choice. Hunting Rifle and Silent Sniper, I'm still putting the beats here. They're both competitive options, not mandatory by any means, but they're both good choices to take, right? Um, Hunting Rifle's got a really good rate of fire, and the Silent Silencer on the Silent Sniper can actually be situationally useful. It can be hard to pinpoint exactly where you're getting shot from, so could be something worth trying. Heavy Sniper, I still think is A tier. I think the Heavy Sniper is a step above the other snipers. You know, being able to one-shot whilst doing 150 damage is ridiculous. Um, it's not broken by any means, but it's a really good solid option. An RPG, I'm still putting A tier. I think the RPG is a very competitive choice. Um, even though it got its reload nerf, I still think the RPG is something you're going to want to carry if you can find it, which is very rare. Um, the Grenade Launch, I think I'd put a B tier. It, it, it's a decent gun. Is it as good as the RPG? I don't think so, but it's just, it's a decent choice. You can definitely run it. And then finally, a minigun, I think, is definitely B tier. It's, it's a good gun. You know, it shreds structures really well. The, the wind up time is quite short now. I honestly think it's, it's, a, it's a decent choice. I would I run this thing pretty often. It's, it's fun, and it definitely works pretty well. So overall, with this tier list, shotguns, realistically, you're only taking the pump. Maybe the attack early game, but pump. ARs, you can run the SCAR, infantry, silenced. And the AK scoped AR could be situationally viable. I'd really say the thermal is, is a step below. I'm tempted to put it D tier, but I think I'm going to leave it C. I think it's a low C, but it, I don't think it's quite in the viable tier. I think the AK and scoped AR are just a little bit better. In terms of your shotgun follow-ups, I think the silence SMG, compact, hand cannon, and flint knock are all competitive. You could even run the silence pistol or the dualies. I think that's a little harder of a sell, but it is a possible option. In terms of your sniper... The Boombo is kind of a sniper, not really. Boombo is definitely competitive. Hunting is competitive. Silence is competitive. And the Heavy, I think, is a step above. But all of them are competitive choices. Uh, structure Destroyers, I think it's RPG, Grenade Launcher, and Minigun are all competitive choices. So, I hope you like this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.